I am so happy with the results. It's, it used to be a dress and now it's this amazing top. What can I say? In this video tutorial, I will be transforming a dress into a contemporary top. I will be transforming this dress into a contemporary top. This is one thing you can do if you find that dress is not fitting, which this one is the case. So it's really tight across the bust area so you can't go any further. So we're going to transform it into an amazing contemporary top. Put the dress onto a flat surface. This is the back of the dress. This pin here represents the end of the zip. I'm going to come down just about that amount and this will be the hem. Now this is going to be cut away, the lower part is going to be cut away from the top part of the dress. So I want to make sure that this measurement from here to here, the hem, is going to be exactly the same on each one of these seam lines which represents a gore. So place a pin here and another one probably about there but making sure that I take my tape measure and measure from here down to the hemline and do the same. I'm going to put more pins in here and then I'll be ready to cut. I'm Colleen Geely. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashion clothing. This is going to be my cut line. I'm going to go above the pins and cut straight across, cutting through all thicknesses including the lining of the dress. dress is now in two pieces. I'm going to base this all the way around and I'm then going to focus on the top. I'm going to give this a small narrow hem and that's what I'm going to do next. Before I sew the hemline of the top I'm going to open up this seam to this pin here and then I'm going to cut along here all the way up to the neckline here. So I'm turning the hem of the top and I'm doing the hand stitch. The hand stitch is a slip stitch. The hemline of the top is now complete, it's all ready. This is hand sewn, this is machine sewn. I'm now ready to do the top section by adding this zip. And there's a second hand zip as well, it's already on something else. I'm going to put that in the centre like so. And this will help give more fit to the top as well. I'm going to, you may not be able to see this, but I'll put a crease line all the way down here in order for me to start cutting and make sure that's okay. Yep. So I'm just going to get my scissors and do a straight cut right down the centre. The raw edge has now been bound and it's ready for the zip. I'm going to do an expo zip in order to finish off this dress. So put it into position like so and through the magic of YouTube it's going to be done in one, two, three. Zip is inserted. I'm now working on the back of this top so that you can fit more or less I still want to keep the zip feature in the in the back I'm using cord elastic so this will enable me to zip it up at the front and this elastic detail will be shown at the back so I've threaded the cord elastic through this big needle with a big eye you can see it's elasticated and I've got a knot at one end and then I'm going to sew it into the zip itself zip tape and then pull it through so I can get this line and then knot it at the other end. I'm now ready to insert my cord elastic so I'm going to put my hand inside between the lining and the top and I'm going to go through the zip tape at this end here and then pull it through. You're going to have to do a little bit of riddling about in order to bring it through to the other end. There we go. And then I put it into this section here.
and then pull it through underneath. effect at the back is now complete almost there um, almost finished all that is left is the sleeves so I've got the bottom head the bottom part of the dress and it's lined so I'm going to align the sleeves and we're gonna have two sleeves on this amazing top and then we will be done this is the sleeve as you can tell it's got the shape of the bottom of the dress and it is a cape sleeve there we go so this is what the finished sleeve looks like it really doesn't look like a sleeve does it but once it's on the top it will look amazing i am now ready this is the final stage and this is the sleeve i've actually joined the back and the front of the bottom of the sleeve and this section i'm going to attach to the dress seam so here we have the seam, place this one on top like so, so the seams are matching and we're going to do roughly a stitch in the ditch so I'm going to put a pin in to make sure it stays in place. Place it under my foot. It's complete. I am so happy. It's turned out a lot better than I actually had in my mind. The sleeves are amazing. There's so many different elements to this. I mean, we've got the zip at the front, and this zip is from a very old bag of mine. And now it fits really well across over the bust and across the bust. Um, the back, yeah, I think I solved the issue with not being able to zip all the way up, but it comes to about here and kept the zip detail in the teeth there you can see and this ladder in there to be cord elastic yeah I am so happy with the results this it used to be a dress and now it's this amazing top what can I say this is the way forward for sustainable fashion so if you enjoyed my video tutorial please do share this video and all my videos where I do a lot of refashioning because I really want to inspire people to think about not throwing away their clothes and refashioning, making something amazing. This used to be a dress and as you can see it's now a contemporary top. So like I said if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please do share and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.